Well, it is National Apprenticeship Week, and a Valley program is on a mission to solve a workforce shortage, and it's all in the name of boosting our economy. ABC 15's Jamie Warren joining us live with how it works. And Jamie, these are really high paying jobs. Good morning, Nick and Kaylee. I'm told that it is possible to make up to six figures with these jobs. We're talking about electricians and construction engineers, which are critical right now as our valley continues to expand. And the best part about this program is that it is free, which means you'll graduate debt free. You've got to put in the time and you've got to put in the effort to make it all happen. Sheldon Hatch recently graduated from DP Electric's apprenticeship program, and he now holds national credentials to work as a project engineer, helping build facilities across the valley. Employees like him can work for the company, get paid, and go to school for free at the same time. And that's a big reason he signed up because you come out of it debt free and you're making money the whole time. It's really nice being an adult and not having all of that you know, stress, extra stress of having bills to pay. Apprenticeship programs are becoming a popular alternative to college, with the number of people choosing trade schools over a traditional bachelor's degree up 64 percent within the last decade. Jennifer Meller with the Greater Phoenix Chamber tells me all those graduates shouldn't have trouble finding a job. There's a need for roughly 250,000 craft professionals in the Valley between now and December of 2024. And just with electricians, we need about 17,000. That's because of a big construction boom from electric vehicle companies, semiconductor plants, and big names like Intel and LG coming to the Valley within the past few years. Without enough people to build those facilities. We've had projects that are, are slowed down. In some, in some cases, they've been halted. We've seen a lot of that backlog um, freeing up over the last six months or so. Um, but if we don't have the workforce to build the facilities, then that just has this compounding effect on our economy. So that's where schools and companies like this come in. And this is where the apprentice students will go to learn. A director Mike Solser showed me around their new workspaces, from classrooms, even some time to relax with the gym and a pickleball court. The goal, he says, is to get students out of these desks and into the field, making a living from day one. This is the uh, new age evolution of the traditional trade school. So there are, are a lot of programs like this one, but if you're interested in this specific one at DP Electric, there are spots still open for the spring semester and you could start enrolling next month. Kaylee and Nick. I mean, to know these jobs are available. Right. And there is a lot more money. That is inspiring. Thank you, Jamie.